Are you ready for your close-up, little soul? Hi! It's so weird, look, she's got little hair on her neck. Just a little bit. She's still mostly naked. What do you eat? Don't eat the remote, please. Hi, sweetie. So I'm about to clean the guinea pig's cage and I like to do their health checks at the same time. And today was nail clipping day. So I went ahead and did that, cleaned their ears, checked for any lumps or anything. But I also like to take this opportunity since they're out of the cage already, especially for little baby soul, I am trying to work on taming her, making her friendly. Oops, see, she's doing much better. There was, I don't remember where I saw it. I am not claiming this idea as my own. I saw it on Instagram. But a little trick that I saw, and I've been doing it with her and it works pretty good. I can't really show you one-handed because, oh goodness, where are you going? Where are you going? But you hold one treat in one hand and show it to the pig. And with your other hand, you go behind them and just give a little poke, just a little tap. And if they don't flinch, you give them the treat. You're basically trying to get them used to your touch. But as you can see, even though I'm not giving her a treat, I can touch her. She flinches sometimes, but not bad. The first time she like, it was a full body shiver. I think she's getting a little antsy. We've been out for a little bit. Oh, you are so sweet. I tried clipping her nails. Um, I didn't have much success. We just trimmed a little bit off the tips. <gasps> Hi, sweetie. Aww. Do you like when I touch your little nose? Your little fuzzy, fuzzy nose? Where are you going? What? Oh, jeez. If you wanted to see her up close, here you go. Oh. Hi. Let me see if I can get her to do it. She likes when I scratch her ears. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, yes, that's the spot. Oh, that feels so good. I like that so much. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how well you can hear it. I, I think I mentioned it in another video. Her nickname is the little helicopter because when she shakes her head, her little ears flap and it's just skin flapping against skin. So she sounds like a little helicopter. Are you eating your poos? Are they yummy? See if I can get the helicopter to go right now. Come on, little helicopter. I don't know if you heard that or not, but yeah, that's the little helicopter. You are just too precious, little one. I know, you're agitated. Alright, to be continued, I'm going to go ahead and put her with the herd, and I'm going to clean the cage right now. Bye! Bye for now, little soul! Mr. Callum... What are you doing, little one? Oh. You're an odd little man. You're getting so big, little one. You're not gonna be my little one anymore. What did she do to you, Callum? She's half your size.
They're just being silly right now. Luna's being a little nosy. I don't know how well you can see her. But she's poking her little head out. Hi, Luna. Little nosy Luna, what you doing? This is the equivalence of someone peeking through the curtains trying to see what action's going on next door. You silly little girl. But as you can see, besides them grumbling for, I don't even know, no reason apparently, everybody's getting along with the little baby now, or at least they're tolerating her existence, so that's good. Oh, and another note for you guys, a little update on Stella Bunny. Hi, Stella. Oh, hi, little popcorn girl. Hi. So Stella is feeling much, much, much better. I did have to take her back to the vet after the last video. They gave her some pain medication and they gave her another type of medication to uh, kind of get things moving along inside of her, so to speak. Stella Bonnie, come here. Stella, come here. Cutie Pie, come here. Stella. Hi. You're so precious. But yeah, she's doing really good. She had me worried for a little bit, but she's back to her nosy self now, as you can see, running around just fine. Well, running away from me just fine, too. There she is. You want me to leave you alone? Hi! Well, it's that time of day where everybody just wants to relax and have a little snack, apparently. I'll leave you alone, little Stella Bunny. Also, I made this new project. I did mess up, but I think it turned out really good and the piggies really like it. It is double-sided. Oh, little Tara's in there, of course. It's got ladybugs on one side and the little vegetables on the other, and it kind of tucks over the grate. It's hard to see right now, but I think it turned out pretty good. It has um, Velcro in the corner, so it'll kind of stick to itself. Oh, and I got these the other day. They're so cute. But yeah, I know this was a super random update, but um, Everyone's good, everyone's better, everyone is absolutely adorable, and you know that's all you can really ask for in life. So with that, I will leave it here for today. I don't know if you're trying to eat me or kiss me, because she like licks and then she takes a bite. You're an odd one. Alright, well, I'll leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all on Monday. Have a safe and a lovely day.